What's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? Uh, at the highest levels of the thought forms, you find that everybody's the same. At the highest levels of these chakra systems, you find that we are connected. Venus is captured with the electricity of the sound of thought. It comes from the body. The language comes like that. You understand? Hey, the black sun up in here, up in here, the black sun up in here. I pop out and honor designer, smelling like Dolce Gabbana, rolling a marijuana. Yeah, bitch, I'm gonna the yamas. Yeah, bitch, she ain't really a frowner. Ooh, no, I can fuck if I wanna. I might just tell her I love her. I might just fucking dub. Good morning, with you. I need your focus and I need your attention. This place is a plasmic energy dome. You connected to this place with your mind. Your nerves are receiving messages in the forms of holographic thoughts and images. Now, what this says is that your thoughts is your consciousness. Your blood is the images of this holographic part of you. When you're thinking about something, someone, you are configuring, you are mixing your nerves, which is your messages, and your thoughts, which is consciousness, and your blood, which is the holographic images. Now, your body is a crystal, the pineal gland. It captures events for you since you were young until right about now. Then it plays them for you. Okay? Now your body acts as a black hole. That's why your skin is melanated. Because you, you, you represent the star, the attention of the whole universe. Because you are the black hole. The black hole now means that you are the hole that you're supposed to become. You are a hole, you're supposed to become a hole. Now, inside this plasmic energy dome that we are, we connect it through spherical configurations of in and out motions of these pictures and these thoughts. Now these pictures and these thoughts specifically that are designed so that we can connect to this place and understand what type of dream or realm the stead eye crystal is sending itself to and fro. Remember your nerves. The nerves are messages. This is hologram. Now you must respond. Your mind, your brain, these lobes, it's just the response mechanism of the whole. Now, once you respond, you are sending light into the black hole. You are sending frequencies of in and out, messages, crystals, which is just a plasmic view of what you did with your nerves. Now your nerves are crooked right now. Why? Because they're distorted. Because now the DNA is distorted. The DNA is only finding its way of healing only right now. So everything that you position yourself to do, it's happening only right now. There is no other moment. Your own nerves are creating this distortion so that you can wake up. This only happened in one lifetime, okay? There's no other past lifetime, there's nothing like that. You're receiving messages from this lifetime to this lifetime. You, the plasmic third eye that you are, your mind is consciousness. Your mind is connected to these messages of the nerves through its own breath. No, 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 no. let me explain. The same amount of breath that you see be between me and the space is the same breath or pressure that my lungs are going to intake. I cannot take more than them. I can only take the pressure that my lungs gives me. That's the difference. Now, if your lungs 
are sourcing you. Breath, they are sourcing you. Chi, pran, life, realms, reality. So, this plasmic energy are responding through divisions. Divisions. Look at it like this. You're inside a house, right? You've got many rooms. You can't, do, you can't get the same feeling that you got in a bathroom as with uh, inside a dining room. You can't get things that you got inside a dining room inside a kitchen. Every room makes you feel different, okay? Now, the feeling that you get from different rooms is like the same feeling that your energy plasmic is giving you. You can't have the same thoughts on each and every event, on each and every situation. Now the plasmic energy dome is created through chakras. Chakras will connect with this nerve. You, the breath, you are just the breath. You're locked inside this house. This is your house. This is a house. You've got many rooms, you know, you've got many rooms. All these rooms are talking to you. The only story that they're telling you is about you. That's what this means. The story of here is telling you about you. Each and every one of us is unique in that way. The nerves. Now, the stories that these nerves come with, I call them chakras. Now, these chakras are in and out configurations of your own stories or your own hope. You have to tell your story. I know it looks like we're the same, but we're definitely not the same. Your story comes from your own home. Now the story of this place, the real story of this place, is connected with the nerves, the chakras. And only through life situations, these chakras open for you to witness your own breath, your own thoughts, as a response a manifested part of these nerves. Now, the body is placed on the ground, right? Which means that it's connected to electricity. This electricity is what charges the nerves, the messages, which then charges the consciousness. You, the breath, as a mind of consciousness. So, what this electricity does, it opens a vault of messages for you. Depending on where you are, you can have uh, each and every aspect. You can have Moon, Mars, Square, Moon, Trine, Mercury. That's where the vault is going to be. Now this vault of energy, or this dose of energy, is for you. Like it or not, hit it or love it. The gift is the curse. Once you work through you, those nerves, they open up. They open up your blood. And remember this, the blood, your blood, is the universe. You talk to your blood through your thoughts. It gives you whatever you want. It's like a library. Look at it like that. A library. So you talk. I want to feel like this. I want to feel like having money. Then you fall, you stay there. Then it locks you into that dining room. You know, the chakra of dining room. That's plasma holographic thoughts of who you are. Now what happens in the dining room is that the bio we all have we all have our bibles okay the bible which is just i think five to nine centimeters above your head your bible your soul that's who you are takes all the events creates all the events everything you've witnessed every movie scene you've liked every scary feeling every nice feeling depending on what you are manifesting within your, within your dome then it channels it channels this energy it channels you into that move so it creates your thoughts your breath your spirit your messages to align into a you that gets to that realm okay so it helps you so you help yourself by just talking about you to become better to become greater okay now the whole story is about you you are the whole i'm just the conduit i'm telling you about you Everything that I say is about you. All this information is coming from my body. That means it's inside you. I'm just that plasmic energy that responds as you. 
inside its own imagination. That's the black sun. Now this plasmic frequency of this electricity is coming from our bonnets downwards. That's what we normally call the root chakra. Now, the messages can be blocked and you can remain in the animal state. Right now, I'm sending this message because it's ascension time. We, this is the, it's May, the 20, 24th of May, 23rd of May today. It's a full moon. The moon is transiting uh, between Scorpio and Sage. So, this energy releases thoughts again for you to go and ground up there and see who you are and stay inside this plasmic energy. Now, once you go there, you go up, you find fused bone. The fused bone is a social part of you. The social part of you is connected to the inner eye. The social part of you is connected to the inner eye. So every time you go outside, your inner eye is the one that wakes up. Once you leave your house or wherever you stay, that inner eye is the one that wakes up and tells you about yourself. Now, the story of earth or heart is all about you. It's all about you. The heart is the hole, the black hole that sends, that sends energy, feelings, Venus. You study Venus, you're going to see the hole. Why Venus is called or described the way it is. Because from the hole, you come the way Venus comes. You talk about yourself. You give yourself the utmost feelings of love. People, this is a dome. This energy dome is in your mind. It's connected through nerves of messages. You are not here. You are not here. It's impossible to be here. Because you are your darkness. You are your black hole. It's impossible to be here. You're connected to this place through your mind. Your mind is accessing consciousness. Your mind is consciousness. Your mind talks to consciousness. Those thoughts that you do, those thoughts that you get, man, come on, those thoughts that you get, that's consciousness there. Half of the thoughts during the day you didn't think about, they just came from nowhere. And you just entertain them. The people, if you're having people and pictures of people in your head, that's you, my friend. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. There's no one inside an imagination. It's you. The design of imagination was meant so that the face that you can't see is the one that you are illuminating from within. Which means that it's going to be your strength. Okay? So, you go watch on movies. They shoot movies in green screens. Why? So that it can reflect back the screen. They do so much with the screens. They do so much with so you don't know. The design of the screens, the phones, the TVs, that's not what you see. They do so much behind them that you get pulled in by your own thoughts of imagination. The way you imagine yourself here is the focus of your mind, which is consciousness. So, you need to understand this. You need to put yourself in a way that you're responding to the realms. Because after the, the heart chakra, it's a dream. The throat chakra represents the session you are having with yourself. The throat chakra is the dream. You're having a session with yourself. You're about to present the third eye. So you're speaking with an echo, with voice, but the inner voice. Because now it's sending a presentation that you're going to apply to your library. The Merkaba, light body spirit. The library is just you and your information. You don't need to think. We didn't come here to think. Mm -mm. Thoughts are everywhere. You came here to prepare your body to receive you so that you can enjoy your own ancestral realm. Planet Earth. Now what this means is all the bodies that are aligned with the principles of this place have a direct connection with the information of this place. I call it the primordial mind. The primordial mind. Now the primordial mind can only be your DNA. Can only be your cells. And that is 
the electrons that are moving. As you are moving and going about your day, you are replacing and creating electrons and DNA every time, every moment. I told you about the hormones. The hormones are, are, the, are the messages complete. The hormones are the messages complete. So you, my friend, carry yourself like a god. Walk like a god. Walk like the information that you are. Open up your heart like God. Represent yourself as if this was God. Imagine if God was, 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 was here or God was about to come. You know, and we all knew. So we prepare ourselves. We know God is coming Friday tomorrow at 9 o'clock. So we prepare ourselves for God. That's how you should look at this place from your own inner eye. Every day, every single day. Should look at, because that's how precious this place created itself. So the session of the dream, the voice, the inner voice, creates the eyes views from the whole. This is the higher self. This is the higher self. This is the heart, the organ, which is by default polarized on a negative. So you're not depressed. You're not sad. It's not impossible. Your own heart comes with a negative polarization. That's how the universe designed it. So what you do is create the law of upliftment. Defy gravity. Create energy inside your body. Because even if you don't do it, it's already been created through these devices that I just mentioned. TV, all the screens, even billboards and highways. They're all designed the same way. Now you can't cover yourself. You can't hide. You have to exist. So what you do is you create your own vortex of energy that is the primus mobile, primordial mind. And that connection cannot be reversed because it's coming from the fractal you. It's coming from that part of you that is so electronized or ionized by itself. So you're a charged part of yourself connected through the minds via the nerves. And these nerves are very important. Okay? Eat whole foods. Drink natural water. Stay connected. Keep your cells high. Keep your electrolytes, you know, charged. That's what this place means. This place is all, no one is coming. No one is coming to save anyone. Nothing is happening. This is how it is. This place is finished, it's complete. You are the hope that needs to discover the rhythm of the polarized heart. Go, go and study the heart, go and study that organ. It's on a polarized, it's polarized on a negative. So either way, if you don't do nothing, you end up being negative. That's why, that's why. That's the issue we have here. So it's your own duty, it's your own responsibility to carry yourself as a God. A God means information inside your body comes from your DNA and you are living. So you are the living DNA of that information. Right now, I can't control it. I was born like this, it was born inside me. The only thing I need to do is represent you, my idea of myself, the way I see myself. So shout out to you YouTube, like this video, enjoy it and love this being here, okay? Because this is the only place we're gonna enjoy. We're not going anywhere. There's no age, there's no time, there's nothing. All these are construct. Go study the clock. Go study the clock. It doesn't work until you put your thoughts in it. Why do I say that? Okay, 12 plus 1, 13. 11 plus 2, 13. 10 plus 3, 13. Should I carry on? It's the whole thing. Everything is 13, 13, 13, 13, 13. 13. Now the result of 13, Mmm, 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 the same thing every moment. So, you've accessed yourself, you're a portal. You are a portal of your own being. If you don't speak your situation, you don't come out the way you are. So you get spliced, you know, you become every, every person. You become a, a non-working a non player, NPC. You call it an NPC, you call it an NPC. If you ain't talking about it, go on YouTube, send a video, it's worth nothing. 
It's not about money. It's about consciousness. Ascension now needs you to go and ascend yourself. It's not gonna, nothing's going to happen. If you don't do anything, nothing is happening. The move is the movement. And you are the move. So, connect your nerves, connect your breath, connect your blood. The message is top prayer. The prayer is the hologram. The hologram is the, is the images. You are in charge of all this. This is your house. This is your house. All these rooms are yours. Make sure you clean them. Make sure you make them as beautiful as you, as you are. Okay? That's what these chakras are. Okay? From me, the black sun. Love.